Hey boys and girls, let's go through some stuff for phase three. I wasn't here for a while. Had some switching of guilds and stuff like that, so I wasn't really to making any content and I wanted to eat a bit and test out stuff. So even this is probably a bit too early, but doesn't matter, we can go at least through some stuff. Okay, so this will not be like a scripted guide or some shit that spend 20 hours editing. It's just basically talking before the release of phase three. So don't mind me not sounding super professional or whatever. I just wanted to get some of the information i think might be useful to some people before they start leveling mm -hmm. let's just go through the talents and we will have runes here anyway so what i'm thinking is like of course regular build but with uh, some increases of strength and possibly seal of the crusader because as we said in the last guide, Seal of the Crusader actually helps us a considerable amount, as well as Blessing of Might, so you could probably go this and this, and finish here. Let's just go, and here, I would pick this too, because you actually need strength now. It will be better than other stats because, like, spirit is even worse now for us. With uh, that much crit that we will have, it's kind of useless. So I think, like, basically intellect and strength will be really good if you can find any gear with that, but... I mean, you can use like a 240 strength and do uh, a bunch of damage and increase your spell power as well. Anyway, I'm talking too much about that. Uh, okay, let's take this and I would probably skip all of these and just go with strength because it's not a huge deal, but it still increases your throughput. So like... Lay on hands is good, but come on. I mean, you will use it once in raid anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's 40 minutes or one hour. It's basically the same. So if you're doing speed runs, you'll, you'll run for like 20 minute runs. You won't get any use of this. Maybe. Yeah, no, no, no way. No way. I'll just go with strength. Uh, this judgment thing is, I don't know, kind of pointless because you will probably be hitting and refreshing judgments all the time anyway. So I don't find it super convincing, especially when you have a lot of other options. This, of course, to full. Holy shock is, uh, yeah, I mean, you have to take it. But, eh, might even consider going with that one point here, but never mind. Let's do this. And this is basically level 48. Now, you can come back and click those two here. Have max strength and everything else that we had before. We just switched lay on hands because I don't think it's useful. Because like, as I said, you won't have a lot of time to use it. Uh, let's go to runes now because we have everything here. Uh, this is head. It's like good game this is the rune you will never change it 18% crit this will make you 
never go out of mana. You will just pump flash of lights most of the time, and I mean, you you will literally never go out of mana. <laughs> it's it's this one. I think it will be here for forever. There is this slight grace for holy light, but I literally can't see anything comparing to fanaticism. This one is actually pretty good, but yeah, this this is really good for farming. If you're gonna go solo Zulfarak, if it's possible, I hope it's possible. You could go this way, so your yeah, consecration will be able to crit. And that's, I guess, more than this crit will ever give you for farming, since <laughs> it can't crit. So yeah, this this will be good for solo farming, AOE farming, of course. Lights Grace, I don't see the use, except if this stacks, like if you can spam Holy Lights, and you can get it to be like... Every time you cast it, you reduce by 0 0.5, but I don't think that will work like that. And it lasts 15 seconds, not sure. Uh, I'll have to test it. It might be useful in certain occasions. Uh, we'll have to test it. It's just that Flash of Light seems enough with most of the crit and healing increases we get. Anyway, let's get on chest, of course, same as before. Pick whatever you think it will be good for you. I mostly go with Divine Storm just for damage. Horn of Lordran might be actually better now, since we have some other ways of increasing our strength. Well, we'll test it. We'll test it too. You can't get Blessing of Might if you do this, but it's worth testing. I don't think you lose that much since you will have some decent amount of strength. A seal of Martyrdom, well, you will never use any other seal that, uh, except the Crusader one. So I would just say <laughs> this is like yeah whatever to be honest just whatever this this will probably be for the level 50 the option because holy wrath is a pretty nice AOE spell so if you combine that with the amount of spell damage we will have from Sheet of Light and everything else, you could potentially be a decent AoE pumper as a healer, so you could just use a Holy Wrath with Purifying Power. We have Divine Storm anyway, have a lot of crit. Uh, hands, well, of course, Beacon of Light, it's a no-brainer. These are, this is for tanking, this is for, well, basically, anything else you do outside of raid, you will use Crusader Strike for mana. It's pretty useful since it's generating 5% of your maximum mana, and that, that's actually huge. You have a pretty huge mana pool right now, so, yeah, it will, it will give you a lot of mana, but only... In, in situations that are like solo play, uh, grinding, AOE farming and stuff like that, it's pretty useful. But this, this is, this is for healing. <laughs> Sheet of Light, uh, no, 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 no really other option. It's, it's just huge if you know how to play around it. And 
I hope you guys learned how to do that in the last guide. I saw a lot of comments and saw a lot of feedback that seems to me that you recognized uh, how good it is and how beneficial it is to keep it up with proper seals and studs. Okay, this is, what is this, legs? Legs are kind of interchangeable, I guess. You can use this for events with fear and sleep, of course. If you need to uh, interrupt your rosary book, but I'm not sure that you will ever need it, especially now with 20 people in raid. Uh, exorcist for exorcism for single target damage, but you'll probably be using divine sacrifice in raids. Uh, and in dungeons, since it's it's pretty good, it's pretty good for some tricky situations and there's a cooldown. And it's not that like cooldown is not that uh, huge. <laughs> and we have feet. Feet is sacred shield, of course. You will, you will not use anything else here. So we went through that. Uh, I think that's like the most important part of stuff I wanted to talk about as a healer. Uh, I won't go through like uh, rotations and, and stuff like that and gear and whatever. I'll just wait till I try everything. And this is just like intro type of talk i'm not just talking about holy now i'll be talking about grinding leveling and stuff like that that you might be using uh tomorrow and it's released well actually yeah tomorrow tomorrow at 10 in eu at least so i want to go through one more thing since if it's possible to do Zulfarak, you will basically just need consecration, that's the most important part, no healing, no nothing, you just take consecration, and now you can go to here, um, I'm, now I'm talking about like AOE consecration increases, and movement speed if possible and everything that will help you farm Zulfarak. I'm not sure if we could if we will be able to keep the sheet of light proc all the time, but we will be able to keep it like every bubble you get you can keep it for sure and probably every bop. So yeah I think it should be up most of the time if you are careful so you just with uh, with bubble you can obviously hit mobs and keep the buff up that's no big deal but with uh, blessing of protection you can't so ideally you will have one mob a bit separated hit him and then bubble so you don't get one shotted or something anyway i'll gonna continue so i'll just pick up these two intellect strength and consecration because all of these you really don't need like you will not be healing yourself a lot i tried combining holy protection and retribution actually and it worked really good for uh, outside farms but i'm not sure like if you're gonna tank it face tank mobs then you should go protection but for Zulfarak, you will be running around and chasing them, so you need like a uh, few more points to get to this. I'll just pick this parry because if you get hit, at least you have a chance to parry. Uh, we'll take pursuit, pursuit of justice. Pursuit of justice. Okay, so everything else here is no big deal to be honest so let's just pump this 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 and we need 
This is required level 40. So at 41 we get Sancti Aura. That increases your holy damage by 10%. This will actually be helpful. Because obviously it will increase, flat increase. Uh, your holy damage, that's the only important thing here with this uh, pursuit, pursuit of justice. Because you know how in Zulfarak you have those two ledges that you need to jump around. I will make a video, if it's possible to do, I will make a video about it. But this is just like to know what I'm talking about. And required level 41, you will probably be level 42 when you enter there. And you should go for this next because vengeance procs from bombs that you throw so if you throw like a dynamite it will be uh procking this so and with that rune uh, that consecration can crit it i think this will be insane so let's just go here Man, what to pick doesn't matter whatever vengeance and you can go to 50 here uh, here we would go with consecration damage can be critical strikes divine storm purifying power this will well help but it, it's mostly the last level 50 level 50 you get holy rat as far as i recall so this won't be useful let's start you can get this i guess beacon of course you will not be using crusader strike will be good if you like near the end if you're getting uh some separated mobs you can utilize it and when some of the mobs are dead sheet of light of course stays divine sacrifice of course doesn't stay you need uh, avengers shield and you will be taking, of course, wearing a shield. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing now. I made this one with Mithril Spike. I actually made it for other AOE grinds. Uh, because, well, it's really good for face tanking mobs. Uh, and especially with, like, Sacred Shield and, and rocks and everything. It's, it's really, you are basically unkillable if you're tanking like a 20 of your own level mobs i'm using this needle and i switched all of my healing gear to intellect and strength so basically it's the strength is giving me sheet of light power and intellect obviously gives me grit and mana so just to show you that it's not really like i got i got this healing set it's increasing damage and healing so that's perfect you will uh, use that i don't have any cloak might just buy some green shit and this one damage done by holy spells and effects it's good for that okay let's go back here so i will definitely talk about Zulfarak more so of course what you're gonna do depends on your situation with your guild with your raid with your group do you have a five-man group that can spam dungeons do you want to do the new stuff the incursions with some of your friends do you just want to do quests or do you want to AOE grind I would suggest you have some quest completed like you don't need to go super hardcore like like people are stressing about no uh, so i just finished some of the quests uh, nothing really hard like few of these are hard i did that because my friends did it so i just joined them and finished it uh also i have a bunch of these relics for dark riders because as you know paladin runes from dark riders were not really good so i just left them and i will deliver them uh, with the other quests also i have these 
supply shipments, these will probably not work. I just had them. So why not leave them? I mean, I'm not losing anything. So I'll just go through like from hinterlands to uh, LT. Get Got all these in the bags, as you see. So I'll just load them from the bank and deliver them. And then I'll go down, deliver, deliver, deliver. Actually, first we are going to go in uh, Gnomeregan because it will give like huge XP. So we will be going there. It's, I think, three groups from our guild uh, who pulled that. A uh, great place to be. I just joined and it's a couple of my friends from Return because in Return people uh, kind of stopped raiding uh, seriously. They're just casually playing now. So we went to try a bit more. Well, not really hardcore, just a little bit more speed running focused play style. Uh, anyway, after we finish the raid, I'm going to deliver all these and... I have a bunch of these too, like this stars the quest, this stars the quest, this as well. So you can have a bunch of these and you can deliver them after. Uh, after that, you, oh, of course, you need to get the dual spec now. So basically, it's somewhere in Airforge. Actually, let's find him without without knowing where he is. I know that it was in Tanaris and they moved him. So we'll just run around and see if we can find him. Uh, after you did, did your raid and all your quests, you have a few options. If you have a group of friends or guildies or whatever, or even pug, you can decide to spam dungeons. Uh, I'm not sure how good it will be, but most of the time people are running Zulfarak uh, and just spamming it all over again. I'm hoping that we will be able to do Zulfarak solo. That's like really, really what I'm hoping for. I would love for it to be possible, uh, and I think it will be. So... I'm gonna probably do that like after the quests, at least try and do some pulls and of course make a video if it's possible and if I'm actually good at it or if I'm utter shit, we will see. Um, for other classes, I will not go through a lot of stuff, but I think Mages will be huge, like I'm probably gonna level a mage next instead of the priest because they will be a lot better with healing and especially as fire, like I think the fire will be demolishing everything. It will depend on... What is this? Is yeah, this is it. Dwarf of many talents, yes. Dual specialization. Let's go. Have holy, and I have holy again <laughs> for some other type of content. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make this one for. Gonna make this one for the AOE grind thingy. Uh, so retribution here, here, here. Sanctity Aura. Okay, I fucked up. I'm gonna need to respec. I need one more here. If I go here, yeah, I'm gonna miss one. May the light protect you this day. It won't be. Mm, you should then go. For this, after 41, 
time it is done. It is for that reason that it becomes increasingly expensive with each retraining. Do you desire you don't need anything else? I'm not sure how this will work, but I have a feeling it will. I have a feeling it will work decently. 129 spell damage, this is a joke, and then you can increase it a bunch with attack power. How much attack power with one hander do we have? 364, 448, 633. So without everything, it's basically more than double. More than double it improved all of these things. You get Sancti Aura and good game. And you'll get it basically after you deliver the quest or if you're going for raids, you just finish. Finish one raid and good game. Anyway, that's like the kind of only thing I wanted to talk about. And oh yeah, if you were gonna go farm Ulfarak, you're gonna want engineering and like these goblin landmines would be insane for you. And these high yield radiation bomb. If you don't uh, have engineering, then just pick the easy throw variant. Oh, it's called easy throw. It's in L man. Where is it? Yeah. You can get these or easy throw, whatever. And there is one more dynamite, I think. Yeah, dynamite two. So you can pick some of these, it will be easier for you to pull uh, with, if you cast like Avengers Shield on one part of the mobs in Zulfarak, you can throw uh, the bomb on the other, and it will help your clear times like a huge amount, like this, this will really help, like solid dynamite and this will really help. You can bring uh, advanced target dummies just in case. You you will need uh, healing mana potions, of course. You can use uh, invisibility potions to skip the first part if you want, but it's mm, not important. Anyway, I'm going to make a video about that if it works at all. Don't want to bother you with that shit now. Just wanted to say hello, basically, and just tell you that I'm alive and I'll be, I'll be playing... Paladin, no worries. Uh, see you guys. Thanks for your support and all the comments and messages. It really means a lot. And I hope you hang around for future too. And share my videos, uh, comment, like it and whatever. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, spit on it. Thanks, boys. See ya.